I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. in here. I swear, that dog doesn't shut up! What? Quit looking at me like that. That dog is there for a reason. Oh, all right. You can let him out. For now. When was the last time this place saw sunlight? What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! and these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! What? You think I'm enjoying this? You think I'm doing this out of spite? Get it right next time and I won't have to fix it for you!
There! I hope you're satisfied with yourself. Stop crying! We'll pick this up tomorrow, and I swear to God, I better start seeing some progress. Looking back, I don't think my father ever really wanted a child. <laughs> it's no wonder I was never truly allowed to be one. No, no, what he wanted, above all things, was a successor. Someone to carry on his legacy. Anything else was just a distraction. how it went. Maybe... No, that's not right. Oh, God damn it! Why can't I remember? I told you never to come down here! This is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time.
Insane! You're not thinking straight! You're right. I am sick. I'm sick of you not being there for us. We need you. I need you. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor weighing him down. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not. <clears throat> Princess, keep looking at me. <gasps> and yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air, its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead, 
Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside the view, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait, that's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess... I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Time. After all I've been through. Stay here. Your mother and I need to talk. This is all you have for me? And of all places, you chose this room. You think I don't hear that? Stop crying! Don't make me come in there. So many memories. This this one room. Filled with more memories than I can count. I thought I told you to be quiet! Oh, the lovely memories. I imagined him standing there, all smug and pleased with himself, thinking this piece of canvas was somehow going to fix everything. I imagined what I would say to him, what I would do. My daddy shouldn't have. You really shouldn't 